Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so happy to be back making videos. I really love taking a break and I think it's something that YouTubers should do just to kind of take a break, get a little bit of creative rejuicing, just, I don't know. Sometimes just taking a break from no matter what it is in life just kind of helps you get back on track and get super excited to get back into it and so that the excitement's really authentic. Like, I don't want to sit down and make a video if I'm really not feeling like making a video that day because it's going to come across like I didn't want to make a video. You know what I mean? And this is fun. This is not a chore. This is not my job. This is a hobby. This is me getting to sit down and chit chat with you guys and I want to have fun while I'm doing it. You know what I mean? So, mom has been shopping. So, this is going to be a haul video and, um, Haul videos are very exciting, aren't they? I've actually been using a few of these things, so it's going to be like haul and reviews. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump into it because you know how I am with my long intros. So the first thing that's probably the most recent purchase, well, there's a few more things that are a little bit more recent, but this Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. You know, you've been seeing tutorials by different people on it. Um, I purchased this with all my own money. I purchased all of this stuff. I wish I were on some sort of PR list to be getting some things to sample for you guys. Like, I want to be able to buy things to do reviews for you, but I can't buy, like, everything. You know what I mean? So, I have to pick and choose. But I picked this, and I'm so glad that I did. This is something that is permanent. It is not limited edition. Don't fear that you need to go run out and buy it right now. You don't have to. It is permanent. Um, I'm going to have a Get Ready With Me video up this Saturday using this so you can see all the colors in action. I've sh I'm sure you've seen it. You have mattes, you have shimmers, They're, the formulation on these is just freaking phenomenal. They blend, they're so pigmented, they're a little powdery, not powdery like negatively, but like you dip your brush in there, you're going to, you pick up a lot of product. They remind me a bit of the Lorac shadows in that fashion, um, but my gosh, they're pigmented, they're just fantastic. So I've been using this since the day that I got it. And I've just been playing around creating different looks and whatever, so you'll see a little get ready with me using this um, palette this week. So next thing I want to share with you is, let's just, this. Um, I ran out of my cleanser right before we had to leave Colorado. And I didn't want to repurchase anything just because we'd be on the road and I just, that's like a great time to travel. Wait, that's like a great time to use up samples is when you're traveling, so I packed Ziploc bags full of all of my samples and I used everything up and the samples are also a great way to see whether or not you want to buy it in the full size Anyways, I digress. I went back to my my OG <laughs> Cleanser favorite and it's the purity purity made simple one-step facial cleanser essentially it takes your makeup off It cleanses your face and it has a toner built into it as well So I don't use a toner when I use this because I really can feel and can see that my face is completely cleansed I love to use this with my Clarisonic. It works great in conjunction with that. It's not too thick. It's not too overly scented. It's just kind of like a clean smell. Um, it just works great. I've been using this for years. Um, yeah, it's a great little cleanser. So I picked this one up. This is the 16 fluid ounce size, which quite frankly, that's going to last you a very long time. You can buy it in the 32 ounce size, which is the big daddy with the pump. And those are neat to put in your shower. I've done that in the past. Um, but I just picked up this one because, well, 16 ounces is still a commitment, but it's not as much of a commitment as 32. This is a non-makeup item, but I wanted to share it with you guys because it's summer. And as far as candles and scents are concerned, my favorite types of scents are like warm scents. I like things that are uh, food scents. I like things that are like piney or cinnamon or apple, just homey type scents. But then I smelled this candle, which is very summery, and it's freaking amazing. Um, it's by Yankee Candle. It's called Bahama Breeze. Essentially, you see these two drinks right here? Yeah, it kind of smells like that. Um, I don't know what is in here. Oh, it's it's very fruity. It's very, uh, it's very fruity, very sweet. That's why I like it, because it kind of smells like food. I haven't burned it yet, but I bought it to put in here, because the colors will match. But Yankee Candles burn awesome they burn forever i think the burning on this is 75 to 110 hours and the average um bath and body work candle i believe is like 12 to 24 or something like that if you were to burn it they burn down quickly i did you see how much that's burned down i've only burned that twice and this has been burning for a couple hours. So those burn down quickly. Yeah, i love the scent so i keep buying them anyways but if you want something that's going to last or a candle that makes a great gift 
Yankee Candles where it's at. Oh, it smells phenomenal. The next thing that I picked up is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. This is the one Tati uses all the time. I really like this concealer. I've used this same one in the past, just not the Neutralizer shade. I currently have and love the Brightener in this uh, formulation. I like this. I've used it once so far. And I've used it in the past, so I already know what the formula is like, but I wanted to try this color. And I was a little leery about the neutralizer just because if a concealer is too yellow on me, it doesn't look right because I'm not very yellow undertoned at all. I'm pretty neutral, if anything. In the summer, I'm a little bit more warmed and bronzed up, but anything that's too yellow just really stands out on my skin. But this isn't too yellow. It is a good neutralizer. Now, keep in mind, I do not have dark under eye circles, but as a, I bought it for a concealer. I really like it so and it's a drugstore option it has really great coverage it's not too drying it is a drier formula than say um like the urban decay naked skin concealer which i hated i brought that back i bought it twice trying to make it work could not make it work brought that back this offers much more coverage this is more coverage like say mac pro Longwear, which i really like that concealer um but for a drugstore option this is great um definitely would recommend checking that out this nail polish oh my gosh so you know pinterest <laughs> you know that I love Pinterest because I can lay in bed and just have the TV on for noise or just watch something that you're kind of interested in but not really and then I'll get sucked into my Pinterest app and I'll just look at everything like I pin all kinds of food things I do have Pinterest if you want to follow me the I think it's C Gary it's linked down below as are all my social medias um but I was just on there and I was going through like all these pretty I was like was it nude page or something like somebody had a bunch of nude nude not nude like naked, but nude colored boards, like nude purses and nude clothes and whatever. I saw this nail polish color and I had to have it because I just think it's going to be the perfect, I haven't worn it yet, but it looks like the perfect nude for my skin tone. It's called um, Essie's Topless and Barefoot. Oh my gosh, I give such long introductions that usually have nothing to do with the product I'm about to showcase. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's just a great kind of neutrally undertoned one. Once again, um, my skin tone is very neutral undertone. So if it's too yellow, it stands out. If it's too brown, it just, I don't know. This just looks like a great effortless nude color that you can leave on your nails all the time. So I had to pick that up. Um, let's move on to a Sephora order I placed. So I ran out of the eye cream that I was using. And in the past, I'd had a sample of this eye cream that I purchased and I loved it. Um, it is the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 eye cream. Look how cute that is. Like seriously, you know when you buy an eye cream oh, and it comes, it looks way smaller than you thought it was going to be? Yeah, that was this. But you get um, half an ounce. That's kind of the going rate for an eye cream anyways. I haven't really seen bigger than half an ounce. It's kind of spendy, but this stuff is so potent. I don't think this is, actually, this is not expensive like the Paracone stuff I love. That's literally more than double the price of this. But this is a very thick cream. And this particular cream, you can put not only underneath, but you can use it all up on the orbital bone and even on your eyelid. Not all eye creams you can do that with. In fact, most say to avoid that area just because your skin is thinner. But the way this is formulated, you can use it around the whole thing. And to me, I think that's important because your eye doesn't, my eyes don't usually crease down here. It's like my crow's feet and my eyelids are, my actual eyelids are starting to get kind of crepey. And so I thought I need something to really help with that. And um, there was, like this came with a pamphlet of clinical results and stuff and so I'm like well I'm gonna keep using this because I loved the sample it's very thick but I'm into that like at nighttime I don't care if it's thick just lay it on me you know what I mean but for the daytime um haven't used it for the daytime yet <clears throat> excuse me to tell you how it works with concealer and stuff but I imagine if you use this and give yourself time to let the product sink into your skin before you go in with makeup you should be fine um it also came with a cute little applicator and the code I used is called um, Nature. Use that code and you'll get one of these. This is the Pharmacy Skin Dew Hydrating Essence Mist and Setting Spray. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. It has Echinacea Green, green Envy. With Echinacea Green Envy. That's what the scent is. Excuse me, it's medicinal smelling, but so refreshing. It must have mint in it or something. It says a hydrating mist that tones the skin restores radiance and freshens makeup. I use this 
um, without makeup. And I just loved how it made my skin look dewy and just glowy and healthy. And then I had used it um, over my makeup to set my makeup on my last video. Oh, it smells amazing. But And look at what you get. You get 0.68 fluid ounces. So use the code NATURE and you can get one of these because uh, it's amazing. So then, of course, I placed another order. I don't know how I ended up with two of these. I bought something else. Maybe I don't know what it was because it's not sitting in front of me. Some of this stuff I had purchased before I left um, in May. And so, I don't know. I ordered something else. I can't remember what it is. But I had used that same code and got this. Uh, a second one of these because I just freaking... It smells so good, guys. Um, I tried a few things from this pharmacy line, and I'm just really intrigued and have enjoyed things that I've tried. Next, this. Um, this actually I bought at the same time as this, but you don't care. <laughs> the It Cosmetic Superhero Stretch Mascara. I have not used this yet. Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara in the shade Super, super Black. I think it only comes in black. I love the words uh, volumizing and stretch because if I can get my lashes to look like these fake ones, I'm on board. Um, I have not tried this yet, but I'm going to be using it next. This is what the wand looks like. It's kind of a, just like a regular old brush. Doesn't look like anything too special. The packaging's kind of cool. So yeah, I've heard great things about this that people really like it. So yeah, I think that packaging's really neat. So I hope it's great. We'll see. If it sucks, I'll still have to use it. I swatched these uh, highlighters, and I love their blush counterparts by Laura. The Light Source um, Illuminating Highlighters. I love those blushes that they that they put out, the Color Source ones. I have four of them, and they're just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And I had went into the store a while back when these first came out and swatched the highlighters, and I was like, great. They're amazing. <laughs> now I'm going to have to have one. Um, and so I'm starting with the one. This is the one that I thought I wanted the most. Like if I had to pick out of the four, this was my first choice for if I could only own one. And this is the color um, Starlight. Now there's Moonlight, which has a little bit more of a pinky undertone. So if you're more fair, that's going to be amazing on you. And then Daylight had just, was, Daylight was really close to this Starlight. It just had a little bit more golden. And then there was another one that was for deeper skin tones, because on me it just would have been too dark. But it has that amazing packaging. It's like this gunmetal, so chic. It's just great packaging, not flimsy, not cheap plastic. Um, this is what it looks like in the pan. Oh, this particular one is kind of golden, but not too golden. Because in the in the winter time, when I'm not very, you know, back to my super fair state. If it's too golden, it looks like I have gold on the tops of my cheekbones. This is just much more brighter, I think, and I love it. I love this particular color. Now, this is also a great color to mix with something more golden, to like soften the gold in something else, or to like ombre your highlighter or whatever. Oh, I love this color though. Super smooth, super buttery. I'm really excited to wear this because even if I like blend out the edges, it's just so pretty. Oh, I'm excited. I okay. got a coupon in my email from beauty.com. And if you're subscribed to their email list, you probably got one. I just actually got a second one today, which I'm like, great. Tempt me more, why don't you? Um, a $15 off $75 purchase. And so I like to order from beauty.com because they have a lot of brands that I like use all the time. And beauty.com is in conjunction with drugstore.com. So if you have like some drugstore things you want to pick up and something high end, you can do it in one transaction, which is really neat. Because sometimes I literally will just throw in on, like to get free shipping, I'll just throw in a box of tampons or toothpaste or something I know I'm going to need more of. Um, and that's awesome that you can find a place like that to shop at and you know what I mean, to get yourself up to that free shipping. Justifies your purchase even more, doesn't it? Um, but anyways, I had got that coupon, and so I decided to pick up a few things I was also out of. Um, I ran out of my exfoliator that I was using, and I decided to try this one. Um, I was kind of reading reviews and just looking up face exfoliators, and I know the Kate Somerville one is amazing. I have a little sample of it. It's just so gosh darn expensive that I just, I don't know. I think I'm going to wait for 20% off at Sephora or Nordstrom or something. Because that bad boy, it's super expensive. So I was looking at all the other options and Origins has one. Checking my time here. <laughs> this one's called Never a Dull Moment Skin Brightening Face, Face Polisher with Fruit Extracts. 
Now the difference between exfoliators is like how how coarse the beads are. I don't like an exfoliator where the beads are really coarse and it feels really rough on my skin. I have kind of sensitive skin, so I like something that's a little bit softer, but still is going to get, you know, all the dead skin cells off and whatever. But this one says it's formulated without a bunch of stuff, like parabens, phthalates, um, mineral oil, petroleum, paraffin, synthetic color, synthetic fragrance, animal ingredients. Like, this just looks like a great one. I don't really smell much. Just If anything, it's just kind of like a clean... Scent. So, I definitely use this a lot in the summertime. It's because I feel like every time I put sunscreen on, my I don't know, my face can kind of break out and stuff from sunscreen. So I like to really get it cleaned at night, just so that the next morning I can go ahead and put it on. But even for your feet and your elbows and stuff like that. And this one was not very expensive. I think it was only around like 20-ish dollars. The next two things, I was totally influenced by YouTube aka makeup by Tiffany D. Um, I love her. Like, I wish we lived closer. That would be stalkerish. But I just feel like we could totally hang out. Like, I love her house style and she's just so laid back and she just seems really fun. And anyway, I'm sure you guys watch her too. And she's been doing YouTube for years. And um, recently she was talking about, oh goodness, I don't even know what video it was, but it was some video where she was talking about like her ride or die products, like things that she thinks or she says we need to own. And this was one of them. And I blindly ordered this because I, I, I'd I, never seen Ico in person. But this is the Ico London Me and My Shadow Waterproof Shadow Liner Shade and Line. And it's in the color Topaz. And once I got this home, there's this like brush tip on the end. So I guess, I don't know what you're going to do with this because it's a cream shadow. Apparently you can use this to like use the cream shadow to line your eyes or something. I might use it for that reason, but I bought it for this color. This is the color Topaz, which I am super into cream shadows right now. One and done, quick and easy eyeshadow look. I'm actually going to do a video here shortly of like, like a one cream shadow eyeshadow look that's really quick and easy. And I think that's, if any, I think those types of looks are just scream summer to me. Because if it's hot out, you don't want to have like I don't personally want to have full on glam. I want to look pretty, but I don't want to slave over it and I don't want to take forever and I don't want to put a bunch of crap on my face. So if I can get a really pretty look with like a cream shadow stick, draw it on, blend it out, be done. Yeah. And then in conjunction with this, she did a recent like bronzy look, which was stunning. She's so pretty. Her skin is so flawless and she just has that really light, creamy, milky skin. I'm just like, you are so lucky to have that flawless of skin. But she used this in conjunction with this, which she said is her favorite duo to get that bronzy look. And when I first saw it, I'm like, girl, that looks like any other thing that I have in probably a million other palettes. But I bit the bullet because I love the formulation of these. I have one other, do I have another duo? No, I think I just have one other single. The formulation of these Bare Minerals Ready Shadows is gorgeous. And when I opened it up, because I told myself if I didn't really like it, I would just return it. But when I opened it up and I saw how beautiful, um, it comes with a little sponge applicator, but we're going to dump that. Um, this is the shade Cognac and Mixologist. And so, I mean, barely touching, incredibly buttery. And when I swatch them, they really are... Oh my gosh, it's such an understated, gorgeous duo. Perfect for day-to-day. -day. See, it's not too gold. There's nothing chunky or just they're really soft, smooth, buttery. Easy to work with, nothing chunky, nothing frosty, just pure, sh like, sheen. I don't know, those are really gorgeous to me. So, I'm actually really happy with this. And I kind of, like, I used to like to have options like big palettes with all these colors in it and now it's like I open them up and I get overwhelmed there's too many options like I go to a restaurant I open a menu and I'll take 30 minutes to order I'm not even kidding you don't go to a restaurant with me you'll hate me forever but I can't decide don't give me that many options like I like it all so it just surprised me kind of thing so having a like a just a duo like this where there's not all these options just where you're forced to create something with just two really gorgeous shades it's kind of what I'm into right now. <laughs> I can't have too many options. I just can't. I don't even know how I'm ever going to build a house and pick out paint colors. I'll be doing... Oh, 
I'll never have painted walls because I'll just be so indecisive. Or I'll have my husband paint them and then say, uh, they don't like it. Can we redo it? And he'll be like, uh, no. Yeah, so it's so exciting sharing all these new things with you guys. Like I said, there was a few other things, but I don't know. I, unpacking and just getting things in their place was overwhelming enough and yeah so I have a lot of things planned for this upcoming month couple months actually a lot of videos I want to get out for you guys and I'm kind of enjoying my new little setup here um oh and the other thing I wanted to mention um about nail polish I'm looking up here do you guys want me to do a nail polish collection video is that of interest to you because I definitely would do that for you um because mama's collected a lot of nail polish recently I don't know how that happened I just you know one day you wake up and you have too much, <laughs> too much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys on Friday.